We are Revelations and we are the biggest spiritual platform in the world. We keep dissecting, we keep delving into spiritual issues. Se efa ebi before huwa ye ni edi mu akotine se fa hon hum se muwa. Efa religion bi huwa, efa buku bi huwa ye ni edi mu akotine. Ube ti niya fre platform we se e ye wia se. E ni pe nina eti mi e chufem ni mdiye nginara efa pim. Ene ye Revelations platform. E bi o mi muwa kwa ba e de ba platform kakaka we se e so ne dinya me jiswa e de mami grace. Ay yes, ube ti miya fre mi hadasha, empress, makida, di amu pe biya, ube ti miya fre miya eno su misum na mejeso ebi o mi man krankre bia akwa ba the other day we had a very beautiful message e wo ye nua fb mensa ho no mo e na o promise e se obesan ya bebi o maka cho so spiritual person bia on keeping the promise no aye ahwe ni e because it's another sign e kire se o wo ho ana se oni ho eh eh enti no ye ma ye nua be ma fb mensa akwa ba ye da se said the other day you came and then so so waba. Yes, in one minute, I want you to greet the viewers. Na afi yenche hawa yebeko. Michiya iti phone yena. We didn't say last time, no. Three no English no code door song, but mumfanche me kakra kakra ebe do. And as we be di koma unhiya pa. Frankly speaking, eh eh na adi unhiya pa ubiase. Apart from that, no. Dia kani yena eh. Dia kika kika. Yes. Okay, or say Nan Comona, a baby, no. A young coma, and who here pine fat, and only who here, it will be a city. I can't deny a bonus. Ain't you know, and Comona, Ning and Annie said, Knowing who you are, and now who is a man. Say, who 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 Man is a spiritual being, and that we are trimium or tripartite in nature. That is, we have a spirit with a soul in the body. Now, se ye per se ye ti san komo we ask pa he se ye 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 go back to certain references in order to give credence to the authority ah ye 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 discussing no. We say the problem here we only say ni pa ebre. You are saying we need to embrace, especially young Africans. Now, or how ne atetia ne pe filmu ni na? Aye, because of one thing. Aye, because ni pa a name no. Hmm. Inti na mu ya se ne keke, especially ye before na mu ya se keke. Maybe by semi for public transport, iti do ni ameche no. I saw mates ne gan. I was just looking them quietly, and I was just seeing how great they are actually in creation, and how they've gone astray. So I was, I was lost in my thought. In me I was just watching them, uh, and then one of them said, ah, I was oh, sure I did say in sir. Then I had to come back to myself. I was filled with pity and passion. I said, ah, Nkofua created the image and likeness of God. And look at the state in which they are because of the act of ignorance. Bra Yebro, we are seeing in is because we are ignorant of our personality, who we are. I say, we share a body according to the records of the Bible now. Nyankopo am boni pa se nipa embebre. Because watch, God created all things. Ah, nipa bi hiyan wubi ase. Asana, ojwen so bi kriti nipa. Bibia, nyami bo, obu bibia. Even fuwa la ye yusu wa ye kamu ene, nawa bo dada. Go da wu yusu for jewelries, nawa bo dada. After God has finished everything, then say, let us create man. Into se, oshima, the original intention of God no says was to provide everything. Said about nipa ba na body mo, nipa embre in the abubu. But the question now is that adding to nipa ye embre na idea abubu. One of the things are making say education. Abuye ba abuye completely, because I have always said in one of the books I'm working on say the highest form of education. They should let you know what is the highest form of education and what is the greatest achievement in life. I dare you to say, "Nina, I dare not warn you." Fap him. What do you say? The highest. The way, yeah. The way, yeah. And I never say you. You never will be saying, "Nina." I dare not assume you will move on. 
what is the highest form of education and what is the greatest achievement in life? And the highest form of education is for man to know that there is power embedded in him. And the greatest form of achievement is for man to release this power. Obi obi tumi hu se nya obo ade bo no de bibi ahye ne mu. E na ne pakon obi tumi release sa de no we wie ne jene. But you see I say that the essence of education anka addition the essence of education is to lead man to his true identity and to uncover the latent potential within him and to teach man to be able to release that potential. Into say oh ko school so now ko school keke. This should be the basis of education but unfortunately the additional curriculum doesn't permit us to achieve such results. Into you see that we produce a lot of graduates and they are on the street to the extent that we have unemployed graduates association. And last I meet you, know, someone said they will teach the government how to create a job. And I was wondering, who well, will need job? And who I was teach you how to create a job. And industry too is saying that we are producing round pearls in square holes because when they come from the universities, they don't fit. Hmm. Well, this is the, the puzzle of Africa. And to some extent, the world at large. Because no one say it happened in Africa, no. It's happening so on the other side yeah. of the world, but maybe in a minor percentage because some more uh, structure, no, it takes care of the less privileged, unlike ours. Mm -hmm. Now, what is happening is this. So, you per se, you who is man? Nipa nye ubi akeke, nipa enye honam. Nipa eye, soul, spirit, soul, and body. This we all know. But the point is that how do we ascertain that thing? I said, I need to move because Nyanko Pon, a boy read Genesis 1 26, sir. And every swing on the car, we be reading a car. Who read Genesis 1 26, sir? Or say, I say, Nyanko Pon, a boy, Nipa, a boy, Nisus. I say, let us create man in our image and in our likeness. And in our image and likeness created he, male and female created he, them. And who read 2 7, sir? Or say, and Nyanko Pon, a boy, Nipa, and we Nipa free as a simu. Ena ohume in kwahume edition mo ena nipa beye okrati as if I think man that's not okay. So two seven kaja say and God created man from the dust of the ground, breath into his nose, not any ordinary breath, but the breath of life, a man became a living soul. Now what happens is this: the dust of the ground represents our gross material body. The breath of life represents the presence or the power of God in man. And because that power in man has the ability to create life, man became active and became conscious soul. Unfortunately, the life we live on earth, you know, we live the life uh, based on the material because and then I eat me home more. So we've lost our consciousness. And as we've lost our consciousness, we've lost our connectivity with the divine essence. Your problem, man, no. So for you to know who you are, you have to go through, you have to reverse your life and go back to the source. And gain your connectivity. And then once you gain your connectivity, whether everything begins to fall in place. You understand why you're on earth, what you're supposed to do, how long it's going to take you to do what you're going to, you're supposed to do, and when you die, where you'll be going. I always tell people that Mimiti I say, nothing moves me. He moving me. Because my I don't wake up one day and wishing any other thing more. Because my life is content. I I I understand why I'm in this world and what I'm supposed to do. And the greatest ha happiness I have is to do what I am doing. And you are focused on your mission. Yes. Okay, let me, you will continue from here. Don't yeah. forget. But I want to ask one thing. Okay. What's the education, you know, I bet boy, now so so I'm boy and papa completely. Now we have examples, say, a bit more we school, no more need you, ma, and mate, if we did, yeah, we did your example, you may be saying, we'll take it three minutes. Na oma ye structure bi a ufo se nka ye puti education ni in that structure na in that manner and ka se 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 bisi. Yeah, we say ye educational system need a total overhaul. We need a total reform in our educational system. So I'll speak to the effect of Ghana because Ghana na me I don't know what's happening elsewhere. We say ye curriculum na ye run na is a colonial curriculum. It's not a curriculum designed to bring you liberation. And to look at the way they are in the chairs in the classroom. They arrange it like the fact, uh, when you go to a factory and people are working, they arrange it in rows. If you want to speak, you need to raise up your hands. Just like when you're sitting behind a, uh, a factory machine, you want to draw the attention of the supervisor, you want to go and take water, you need to raise your hands. So the structures the colonial masters put in place was to produce a, a middle class people to come and work in their factories. And that is how they put our curriculum 
structure in place. Now, we've not gone through that renaissance, that revival of change, uh, a bit develop a curriculum that will develop our persona, our personality, and that's the problem. Hmm. Now, what our, 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 our educational leaders have to do is that I have always preached that if I were the leader of this nation, of any nation, RME, Religious and Moral Education, Mijim Dewakoshe University, then what I do, I put psychology and philosophy as the basic level. Hmm. Because the point is that I say psychology is the ability of man to think and to act right. And philosophy is to understand the principles of life. When you have these two things in place... Then you can make a great decision all by yourself. All by yourself. Hmm. That is the problem we are having. I have said that, look, when the psychology of a man is not right, everything he does is wrong. Even including imp implementing the principle of the spiritual books becomes wrong. So you can see how people now are using, excuse me, say, the Bible to extort people, to do all manner of things. Because it's not their problem. The psychology is not working properly. The way of thinking is wrong. So anything you do after that becomes wrong. So our, our leaders should bring a kind of reform, critical and analytical thinking, something that curriculum that tends to develop people's personality, make psychology composed something from the basic level to let's say secondary school. After secondary school, you know, you be or invest the correct decision be your person be Yes. You have to. So hmm. we need that reform on the aspect of our education. And once say we are facing what we are facing as Africans because the basis on which you are the the foundation or the premise on which we are building is, is, is totally porous. Because the kind of national leaders we are having today are the product of the system. Hmm. Now, the product we have from the system is a porous product. So the thinking is wrong, so the action is wrong, and the deeds are wrong. The foundations? It doesn't hold. Until if we should have a reform, we realize that everything begins to change gradually. We are having this conversation, I think, on Wednesday in a friend's office. And I was telling the bankers, look, this is the whole problem of our nation. We need to begin to set our people to think in the right perspective. So until, that, until we achieve this objective, forget it. Because why would an accountant, thinking right, become head of accounting department and ask the rules to run down the company? <laughs> it's simply because the person is not thinking right. But when your psychic begins to work properly, you don't put matter over atom. It's rather atom over matter. Mm -hmm. A bit suppressive. Yes, but now what you are doing that is mat uh, matter over atom. And do you think they are not thinking right? Yes. Ah, is it, if the person is not thinking right, or by a calculation, yeah, the zero, zero, so they can't come on jam, my company, no, they couldn't see. Yes. And see, what makes you think he's no, the person not is not thinking right? Because right. He, thinking anything that you do that does not inure to the collective good of humanity. It's not thinking right. Now this is beyond normal, normal uh, thinking. This is what, what you just said now. What are the spirituality to it? And how many, how many of us here are more in, are into spirituality? Even uh, sorry, I echo. But the life itself is spiritual, so uh -huh. you have no option than to 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 to, to be spiritual in life. And do you think uh, we are spiritual as Africans? No, you see, when we come to spirituality as Africans, we had our own spirituality uh -huh. somewhere along the line through indoctrination and dogmas, we kind of shift off a little bit from our spirituality. Now, the point is that, why would somebody end up in church on Sunday? Obviously, the, the person have a sense of spirituality within him. Though he may go to the wrong, I'm not saying the church is wrong, but maybe you find yourself in the wrong, somebody goes to the shrine, somebody, or per se, or Mampinia, or because shrine, or not over president. When somebody wants a position in life, the first thing of point of call is a source of spirituality. Mm -hmm. That means, Known or unknown to us, we have that sense of spirituality embedded within mm -hmm. us. You understand? But the point is that, you see, the mind, we're supposed to drive the direction to which we channel our energy. The mind is misinformed. And because the mind is, is misinformed, as I said earlier, the last week, our, that our, our mind is our best friend. At the same time, our worst enemy. Depending on how you are able to control the mind. So once the mind is misinformed, it takes you to the wrong direction. And that is what we are having. When a mind is well informed, that's what the Bible says, that for be ye transformed by the renewal of, of mind. your mind. Because the mind is the gateway. The mind is, anything related to the mind is not part of spirituality. But it's the gateway that ushers you to the region of spirituality. So when, from the spiritual realm, whatever picks, the, soul, the spirit picks, 
sends, delivers it to the soul. The soul then delivers it to the mind, and then mind through the program of the mind, interprets it to the understanding of your personality. Vice versa, when you pick something with your senses, we have the five, nine senses, but for the five senses is what we know. When you pick something with the five senses, we send it to the mind. The mind then processes it, then sends it to the soul, then the soul the, in that reverse. Now what happens is that when the mind is not well positioned to, to operate within its limits, then you have a problem. Mm -hmm. Then we go off course. Mm -hmm. And that is the problem of humanity. Mm -hmm. And especially, yen be before, your problem ma, is the ability to shape the mind, for the mind to give way for our true self to take control. Uh, there is a scenario that says that when we were coming to the planet Earth, the, the spirit was coming to the Earth and then met the soul along the line. I said, so you know what? My language, the people of the Earth don't understand, but you understand me and you are closer to the mind. The mind understands the people of the world, so please accompany me to be my interpreter. So the soul agreed to accompany the spirit. When they got to heaven, they need somebody to drive them into the earth sphere. And they said, oh, so said, oh, my friend, the mind, he has gone through the earth, so he, nav he knows the navigation of the entire earth, so let us take him as a driver. Then they took the mind as a driver to bring the soul spirit, the spirit and the soul into the physical consciousness. When they got to the physical consciousness, mind said, oh, no, no, your master. He doesn't take his structure from the soul and the spirit no more. You, you, you see the problem you're having. So time has spirit, spirit in the culture, so in the culture, mind say, young fan, the mind say, the young fan, no, no, I bet you, I'm the young fan, the young fan, the young fan, the and the mind is just living, leading man, over going round and round and round, seeking vanity. And all we need to do is to switch the imbalance of the mind. And once you switch the imbalance of the mind, almost everything begins to take place, to take shape, and everything begins to fall in place. This is, it's as simple as A, B, C, D. And the problem is this, the elite societies that be, that has gotten this intelligence, that has gotten this knowledge to get them where they are, they are making sure the masses don't get it. Because if you get it... You can't be controlled anymore. Yes. You are watching revelations. Uh, yeah, I don't know what happened. I don't know a crano, yeah. any soon sumuno. Yeah. Instead, some ben and take um, together no. I genuinely take it upper hand and all refuse it other, um, other the right company no more be man waiting. Some mind needs to take it over and the bear canality. Yes. Any, uh, the man didn't take you over. The man has taken over people. Most people. Come, those who are able to put this tray together no, they are few. Very few. Until um, then, I bear. Na yeti mi amo ma be ye be bre because omo omo enyano omo enjoy no as authority over yeah. other people. Yes. Enti wa wa ye ready say wo de wo be ma aso obi aso na wo wait aye lighter no obi nso dwen say me dey control nkrofa na minya benefit. Enti no ye ma wo kwan. So what do you think can be done? This is an age old problem. It is it's not started from our time. You know, when Jesus passed through his sevenfold ministry test, Jesus Christ, it was, as I said last week, it was 18 years was silent in the Bible. It was in Tibet, Egypt, with a great white brotherhood, mm. was in uh, Persia, in India, in India, and all those things. When you read the 18 silent, the mystical life of Jesus Christ tells you all this, what he was doing, and all those things. And personally, I have had personal experience with him inside. So when I see people talk about the figurativeness of Christ and all those things, I, I laugh because you cannot convince me against what I have experienced in the spiritual realm. Because I have not once, not twice. I have several engagements on several topics with him, relating to him and what the Bible has written. And he has given me a lot of narrations with regards to what is in the Bible. Now, you realize in his time, when he passed the, when he went to the hall of the Heliophyte and passed through the sevenfold ministry test in Egypt, then they asked him, he said, my problem, I, I wish to send this through to the, to, 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 to the public. According to the records, the hall was dead silent. Because then the Great White Brotherhood, which is the Essenese group, were being pursued and being killed and marginalized because of the truth that they possess. And you want to take this truth out there. The Hilofat knew that this man, he will be killed. When you say, Bekunu, in Tukai, you say, you will not be, you will say, 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 you will say,
and now so nyaye dey this is just a scenario that happened in the hall of the new for when jesus took it, chose his public mission and when he came obviously the intelligence is the elite society that control the the circle by then they didn't want him to bring the truth out and these were the things that culminated to his death hmm. and then the 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 orchestration of the idea of making the death being a part and parcel of his earthly mission to elude man from realizing his message because Jesus Christ was sent to come and give us the truth and show us the way to our connectivity and the man sought to kill him because he's speaking the truth they want to read the book of John they say that you seek to kill me a man that is telling the truth did this did not Abraham hmm. so after they executed him and they killed him obviously when they executed and killed God wasn't happy but when you read the Bible, any time God was annoyed, he showed it, uh, he, he expressed his anger with thunder and lightning. And when he died, there was what? Earthquake, thunder, and lightning. And the people saw that, yes, Lord, this is because they saw the anger of God. You understand? But after a while, they had to paint a very nice story to, in order to control the rage of the people. So then, oh, he was sent to come and die for your sins. You believe in his sins and you will be saved and all those things. Jesus Christ came for our salvation. But he came that he would tell you the truth, that the truth will lead you to salvation. That's why he didn't say, that's why he said, and ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. He didn't say, and ye shall know of my death, and my death shall set you free. They are not crying a problem. Yeah, it's an orchestration that was attached to his mission in order to suppress the people's anger. <laughs> you are watching Revelations. So, in all, in all the submissions, say, who is a man? That's what I'm saying, that man is a spirit our true nature we are spirit beings your true nature and are spirit beings and we are in a body with the soul accompanied by the mind now genesis as i said genesis 126 and a 2 7 I explaining i quote the bible because of my christian background but it's also the whatever i quote from the bible and were other religious books, you know, like the Bhagavad Gita, the Quran, the Shema Bhagavatam, and the Vedas. It's all, in all those, in, in different forms. In the oh, creating man, oh, he breathed into man the breath of life. So now we have three. We have the dust of the ground, which we'll represent our carnal body. We have the, the, the breath of God, which represents the divine spark, the spirit of God within man. A part of God is in man. And then these two come together to form the living soul, the conscious being, the conscious person. Now, the day we were cut off from God, that we lost our spiritual identity, we start thinking of the flesh as canal. Now, you see, our thought was supposed to be oriented this way and not that way. So, our, our ecstasy was supposed to be directed upwards and not downwards. But when it shows downwards, it shows carnality. And when it shows upwards, it shows spirituality. So, when we had our disconnection, then we begin to think external, downwards, instead of internal. So, to be able to realize who you are, you must be able to go within yourself. Because without, you cannot find anything. But within, you can find all that you so desire. And I can tell you for a truth, not hearsay or lip service. I have taken people through it. And externally, they've been very great. Jinaha Mami, you are watching Revelations. Externally, they've been very great. They've been very yeah. great. Yeah. Mami Bisa, a question, a very important question, and I want you to be honest with me. Yeah. When you were talking, you are saying, sir, um, because of your Christian background, yeah. tell me, what is the reason of religion and how good or bad has it done to mankind? You see, the essence of religion itself is to lead man to spirituality, to discover his true self, and to find God. So before religion, our fathers I, I, were... Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I will get there. Mm -hmm. Because you ask based on religion, but mm -hmm. this topic goes beyond religion. Mm -hmm. What we are talking about That's is beyond religion. That's why I'm asking. I'm bringing you back a little yeah. because of your statement. Yeah. Because I know you see things with your eyes. Yeah. For example, Ibn Awoka said, um, yes, the way I am a canon, and yes, sir. Yeah. Omud shed that you will not some abbe bata who instead of no cressema or by or barbeca. And you know very well, sir, ye hold the idea way in high esteem. Me who will maturity and will spirituality from when you mentioned that idea be a who quote you from Hano and what other books in him. Then it comes to 
sit with me. It, it comes to sit well with me because me nim say God is too big to put him at a particular yes. place and that or wah wah. I know na woka ye no. But who say because you are from a Christian background, you yeah. know. Now so so who nim so so say the Oma Tregu no. And yen no kre said the woka ye no. Until na me be say say nijina swapa ye den. You see, and yes, and yen no kre. You see, it is not. About a woman, okay. Tree, tree, my main kind of broken out. It's not holistically true, uh -huh. it's not holistically true. true no. Yeah, not just say, Oh, be why any straight say, yeah. Oh, be woo, ye. yes. A summon or be car, ye. yes. But a woman, dear, now, or my yen, dear, and no, dear, or my fabricate, and that is what we hold in high esteem as Christians, and you know, yes. So, me be such a where would that lead us to? Obviously, it, it, it will lead you, it, it leads you to indoctrination and dogmas. Because obviously, if you believe in something which is not true as true, it doesn't make it true. Because you see, you see, your your perception, what you think, and what you believe creates your reality. Mm -hmm. Now, reality is not actuality. Hmm. But the, the difference between actuality mm -hmm. and reality, because realities are relative. What you see as real may not be real to me, and what I see as real may not be real to you. But what is actual? It doesn't matter your reality. It is that what thing it is. is there. In the what is here is here. Mm -hmm. If I see it to be brown and you see it to be green, it doesn't change the, 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 how the thing looks Even like. Even a third person will come and confess. You, you understand? Okay. So that is, the, that is, and the problem we are having in the world today in religion and all those things is our reality, which our reality is informed by our perception and understanding belief system. So if we go beyond our perception, belief system, and then what we think, we begin to see the actuality, and that is spirituality. I always tell people that, you see, spirituality is like a broken mirror. The Hindu take one small path. Christians take one small path. Muslims take one small path. Any part of the mirror you take, you see your face. Exactly. But you may think that is the whole mirror. Mm -hmm. But if we are patient, we, we put everything together, you realize that the mirror is much more bigger than what you alone possess. Mm -hmm. And that is the problem we are having. Because when we read all the other spiritual books, you realize that all the spiritual books are talking and the saying same the same thing. thing. But I ask people that, though, so why would somebody wake up and condemn the Bible? Because that is where I am coming from. Mm -hmm. And after studying the Bible and doing my TR, uh, transitional rotational research, going to Krishna, going to this, going to that, going to that, I studied with all those religions. Realize that, but we've all been talking the same thing. So why do I leave what I have to? Yes, we understand and we all accept certain flaws in the Bible. There are flaws Not in the Bible. Not all. Because we've all, uh, you, 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 maybe I'll, uh, yeah, yeah, everybody. yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. I uh -huh. have accepted, yes. and I know people who have also accepted, and you can identify certain flaws in the Bible. Mm -hmm. Now, these flaws was intentionally and deliberately inserted to serve a particular intent of whoever was transcribing. Who was that, and what was the intent? What happened? Who, you know, you have different versions of the Bible. We have mm -hmm. King James Version. Mm -hmm. King James was... An, Pick one and talk to us So let's say King it. James Version. Mm -hmm. King James was, I assume, the tune of England, I think, 14-something or 16-something. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then, before this King James Version Bible was, was the original manuscript, which was a tablet and was translated into manuscript. We are digressing a little bit, but we'll come now back we'll to come back. We'll come you see, back. so, during his translation, he, he was an emperor. Now, in those days, the followers were of Christ were very powerful, very, very powerful, because they, they lived their life based on the principles of the teachings of the master. Now, that was what recorded for, accounted for the execution of people when they see that you are holding those days, that which King James has not trans translated. They will come, kill you, and take the book and burn them. We even saw some of them in, 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 in our old books. Now, fast forward, Constantine came in, Organized his own treaties, the Treaty of Constantinople in uh, 325 AD, where they have to come together and then refix so many things, all with one agenda, and that is to control you and I. So we realize that when you read certain portion of the Bible, it tends to approve slavery. I, I don't have the quotation. It tends to approve slavery. Somewhere in Leviticus, there are by tend to approve slavery and all those things. And somewhere in Paul's book, he say, uh, uh, servants, honor thy masters, and all those things. These are interpolations which were deliberately inserted by these ruling families in order to control the ordinary people. <laughs> now, when you go for it, well, even some part, it says that, it says that, Preach and exhort these things. Hmm. That was the instruction that was given to the missionaries that can preach and exhort these things. So in it lies the word 
of the divine and in this lie the words of your slave master. Exactly. You see, so the point is that we cannot totally throw the baby with the bathwater and the ease no. away. We need to be able to decipher. Yes, so that we, we need to decipher and then screen out that which is divine and that which is undivine. Thank and you. once you're able to achieve this objective, then you see that humanity will get back. We are you watching Revelations. We are watching Revelations. We are watching Revelations. We are watching Revelations. We are watching open. If you feel you know, come and sit down. And if you cry, I say to you, and let's discuss it and stop posting my videos and looking for YouTube money for your 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 rent. We are talking about EAC viso. Obia be kasa na oko ni awe hu ena watro ena we wu na books ni biso ye take it every ho and conform mu lead all these books you no know, they are almost you to say catholic bible yeah. they have tobit and yeah. other books we yeah, have taken the, it the bell and the bell the bell and the dragon susanna susanna and tobit yes. and maccabees Ma 1 and 2 oh. we call it the two canonical Esther, oh, so one, one. Es they e have ezra ezra they have all these books yeah. so oh, they call them apocryphal the, books yeah or the two canonical yes and you know oh, yeah yeah taking it off no more more after so if you want to know, it's good you read them and find out why they were taken. So at least you know the decision you are making. But when you mention pay be multiate. But when you read this the two canonicals, <laughs> I, I, I sat my wife down and I made her read some of the stuff. One of the best stories my son, my first boy son, is just about five years likes, is the story of Tobit and Tobias. But I've, he reads a lot of Bible stories as church. But when I, I took my Bible and I read the story for him, he loved the story that every night he wants me to read him that story. He never gets tired of it. You. And my, when I read it for my wife, I was like, ah, but what's wrong with this book? Mm -hmm. And, and she, why was it taken and away? And she, she started studying them. Because these are books that tell you certain things that, excuse my language, say the real accepted canons are not there. You see, look at the book of Esther. Study the book of Esther very well. And then ask me what Esther has to do with in the relationship with God. But when you read the book of Tobit, talking about Tobiah, how the angel, my, angel, angel Raphael came, I him think they, they even have the hidden knowledge about this whole thing. Yes. And they've taken, and we are trying to say, okay, let's all read it. When mm. let's also Maybe read it. You know, my father too was a practitioner. Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> you see, so so. My father was there, though. The reason why somebody is telling you don't open this book should make you curious to go and open it. You because are watching I, Revelations. We will open them. Why you would say you would Europe? Who catch them is a mimi nim theology? Are you kidding me? Come and let's sit here and talk about it. We know men when we see them, and we know both fruits when we see one. And theology you are, itself. <laughs> you are watching Revelations. You see, theology. <laughs> you see, theology itself is a problem because you see we have two types of theology. When you study theology, two types. So we have the esoteric theology and we have the esoteric theology. Now, most of the things they teach in the churches are esoteric theology. Theology meant for congregation. And then we have the inner theology, which is the higher theology, deeper part of the theology, which is meant for setting, they call it, uh, 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 when you go to pastor's conference or reverence ministry, they, what they go and study there is different from what they tell you on the pulpit. And how did I, there was a time the church I was, uh, attended before I was called out, and because me personally, I didn't. Nobody evangelized to go to church. I was there one day, you know, boys, but we meet to play. I was there. I had a, I had a go to church. I came home to my dad today. I want to go to church, and my sister was like, ah, Obe kwa sorka no no. Meanwhile, I was going to the church, the very church my sister attends, and she was bathing to go to church. And no catch us Obe kwa no. And I'm the type say. I don't, I don't act based on what you say. Me I want to have my own experience. I say, the procedure I went to church was the same procedure I got out of church. I had the intuition to go to church. And after a while, I had the intuition. Be no, after a while, I had the direct <laughs> intuition stop going to church. Now, I want to talk to you personally. When you wake up on Sundays, go. There's a place where in Dasuma State, they call Pamro. So I take my book, pen, and go and see there. Then there I started getting me, I started writing. I, I come to show my father, my father said, ah, if not the father, I mean, we will fear her. Now me must have the empty book, a cup. Now we have to work on it. I said, I'm going to copy book. I'm going to copy the book. I'm saying, all that I receive is what I put in the, in, in, in the, in, in the, in the, in the writing. You see, 
what happens was somebody misbehaved in the church. When you misbehave, they will suspend you. And then one person misbehaved in the church. And because of his status in the church, he was compromised. And people have done the same thing. And then the, the people were dismissed or suspended. So I asked, I have the thing I wouldn't say. I'll say, sometimes not everything. They, you look at certain things, then the effect of the decision it will have on the church. And but these things are higher teachings. You know I'm saying? So then I came one and discussed. My father said, yes. Now, it's a higher, the higher teachings. That was the first time I had esoteric theology and esoteric. So my father sat me down and said, look, in theology, we have esoteric theology and we have esoteric theology. One is meant for Sunday when you go to church. And one is meant when they go to meet what they discuss. For the leaders. For the leaders. So I said, theology itself in totality, both the one they preach to the church and the one they go to study is not total spirituality. It makes you know about God, but it doesn't make you experience God. And that is a problem. Because already the book of uh, John chapter 17, verse 1 to 3, I'll quote it now because that was what I was about to end the conversation with. It says that, Father, the hour has come Glorify your son, that your son may glorify thee, mm -hmm. that thou hast given power over all flesh, and to give eternal life to as many as you the Father give unto him. So now, no, note one thing. Eternal life self, is not wholesale. It is the choice of the Father. In the dispensation, those who develop to that consciousness, he, he picks, picks them, them, then he takes them. Either come back as another ascended master or something like that. Now, Jesus Christ, in all his teachings, never explained what eternal life was, except for this verse. And verse 3 said that, and now this is eternal life, that they may know you the only through God and Christ whom thou have sent. So this is the position of the Bible when it comes to eternity. The question is that how many of us really know God? It all tailors into realizing who you are. You see, one of the things you can know about God is knowing about yourself. Because if you don't know yourself, you can never know God. No. Because you are the direct incarnate, direct image and likeness of God. And there are, there are scriptures in the Bible to support. So when I see people on the other side of the flip side, people talk against the Bible and I say, why? And then when I see Bible to talk, people from the Bible side also talk against some of this, I say, why? Because you are they, are, they are all in the Bible. You are watching Revelations. One day, my man and I discuss the uh, Bible. No, I cannot make an entire say brudo. Say me, me need theology. Oh, theology! Now, many make us. I was in my co be sat theology. Are you kidding me? A uh, yeah, story for another day. So, oh dear, you embrace her. Now, you embrace one, two, three things. Ah, you embrace as a man. Ah, you embrace say you are becoming a man. Yeah. And then this is where you have to pass. Yeah. You see. Knowing who you are, our two faces. We have the knowing your personality as one face and knowing your divine nature as the second face. Now, knowing your divine nature is the most essential. Because once you know your divine nature, your personality falls in. Now, say the Pakono may not be able to get there now. The person should know the personality. Now, most of this personality you get it from astrology, palmistry, and all those things, because they are within the realm of mind. They don't trigger you into spirituality. Don't you decide to hold your Christo Nipa? Ah, me a Christo Nipa. Sir? Yes. Pam mystery. At I, numerologist. Dear, 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 now I'm born here. We a Christo. Why a demon? Ah. What is, what is astrology? Eh? Astrology is the study of the time and season under the sun. I know. Basically. They Fund call it Mazarot. Yes, but uh -huh. fun fundamentally. Uh -huh. The study of the time and season under the sun. That's basic definition for astrology. When you go to Ecclesiastes chapter 3, verse, what does it say? To everything there's time and season, to every purpose under the sun. It is the same thing expressed in different forms. You see, the point is that why would... You. When you read, I, I didn't bring the other Bible. My other Bible, I forgot to bring it. It says that uh, the living Bible, say, and astrologers came to Jesus. That what you call the three wise men, they were not wise men. They were astrologers. In the Bible, Pokan is plain, and not stars, and they lead you to him. The stars were not leading it. They were reading the stars to know the way that Jesus Christ was. Eh? But, but, one, two, three, you you understand? You understand? You understand? You get the whole thing. Because, you see, when you read the silent of Jesus Christ had to speak to the astrologers, the, 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 the so-called three, they were not three wise men because they brought three gifts. They, they assumed they were three, but they were more than that. They were a group of wise men. And in those days, wise men are the magis, which are astrologers who understood the time and the season. 
why would the, the tribe of Issachar in the Jewish tradition understand they, they, times. They, understand, they understand the time and the seasons and even uh, when you read some of the books almost say yes one catch no say yeah woo won't know and crop for way best raw one would be saying same by a pen of free fee yes well, you know, there is there there is this thing and crop for more vote and our multi practice it after yeah, I've heard you name and tune uh -huh. Divination. Yes. I know. Uh, ye, ye, ni, ni, na, ye frowning at it. In China, maybe it's also a Christian. I'm, I'm, I'm working on a book, uh, Ten Ways God Speaks to Man. Come on, yeah, ten But we will still, we, yeah, better was to say, and to me, and see, yeah, better was to. Because everything that all discussing is very, very important. Ebusia, mama, yeah, me, yeah, you know. Because video, yeah, yeah, she, obia, sha. Yeah, what the way a obe process here there no afa net is obi ane ne abilities a onyango pon edi amano. If we can only take our time, na ya mo obi a asuna yeti ya we are able to put the informations ni together. Na fe ya reinforce ni yeti mi liberty yehu. This is what we are talking about. Obi a antanyo obi a obi a is not disbursing falsehood and for what? We are the biggest spiritual platform. When you become a spiritual person, you always have issues with the church. Not the church alone. Uh, no, what? It depends on your dimension. Even there are certain groups you call spiritual, spiritual groups. Like, let's say, religion. And yes, totality. Totality, that's to, it. In totality, because mm -hmm. certain, when we, 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 we went, a friend of mine said, ah, we can do other groups in some buffu. I said, well, but that is the truth. This is truth stands above all things. All other things come out of the truth. You see, when I was coming, I was saying that look here. I did here and I did it. I did it. That has been my problem. You see, Tio, <sighs> religion, no matter what class, be it Hinduism, Sikhism, Jainism, Krishna, uh, Christianity, it doesn't matter what religion. Man existed before all these things. And it was man that originated all these things. So what you need to find out is, what is man? Because okay. in the beginning, man was with God. Alone okay. in the Garden of Eden. Okay, but I said man was God. Yes. In the Garden of Eden, God, man was alone with his co-partner. That's why I said in the previous video that God does not need the worship of man, but he needs the fellowship of man. God does in all his creation, he didn't have anything of his kind to interact with. Above no woman, no man, above no man. So he thought, "I was going to let us create another being that would be of my kind and likeness, so that I can have fellowship." That's what the Bible says. That in the cool of the day, God came into the garden to have fellowship with Adam. Okay, so things that you will know that you are a man or you are a human being. Yes. So coming back to the point, the two personalities we are talking about. We have the personality aspect of you and then we have the non personality which is the spiritual nature of you. Now the personality aspect of you and the bit many is so easy even you can get it astrology and all those things they can divine it for you because your personality is made up of the masculine and feminine personality. In him created he male and female created he them so the male is in you the female is in you which is the Y and the X chromosomes when it comes to science. Okay. Now what happens is that the 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 one of these chromosomes, one of these personalities is dominant. Now, when the energy is coming, it's, when it's split from the divine essence, it turns masculine and feminine. This, that is pure energy. It's without attribute, just power, what it is. Now, when it degrades itself a little bit further, it forms the female, male and female energy. Now, that degraded energy, female and female, then begins to develop relatable attributes. Into, I feel that certain attributes are or your bar or your bema. Now, when it degrades, it degrades itself further, it becomes man or woman. Then it becomes more physical, more solidified, more dense than now we relate to. So, by virtue of the sexes or the genitals, you cannot wear your bar, wear your bema because of the physical attributes. Now, to be able to recognize who you are, you, you go on the reverse. Since it's obvious, you know that wear your bar, wear your bema because of the physical representation. Anybody here knows that. Now, we need to transcend that physical representation to the non-physical attributes. Now, dominant energy within you, but the energy now is controlled by feminine. 
oba oba so e na ji na ni body crowd di ji na ho no enu na enu na e create confusion that homosexualism thing yes. no and they need help mm. because mm. See, when that thing is dominant na you see you cannot be judgmental of the person and you're not creating it that is how he feels within his soul but the point is that that doesn't mean you go for the same sex because it violates the law they of nature. They need help. By judgment, they say you've given up on them. Yes. You cannot correct anything you have condemned. Yes. That's, that's it. And that is why God does not want us to judge. It's not in our place to judge. God wants us to show unconditional love. The only thing God requires of humanity is expressing unconditional love. Because in the perfection of our balance produces love. <laughs> And that love is what God expects from us. So, you see, when these people, when you, a, 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 a male who feels more feminine, he needs counseling and help to help him elevate his masculine ability to create the balance. Or if possible, if he wants to be more masculine, then it exceeds, but then it begins to see, oh, this is how the whole thing is like. But when you leave the person that way and begin to condemn that person, the person will go in secrecy and engage in things which is not, doesn't inure to the collective good mm -hmm. of humanity. And that's the problem too. We should have counseling departments that deals with such issues. That deals with such issues where when you come, the person can, because for me, when you mention your date of birth, I can straight away know, when I've created a chart, I told you last time when you created, mm -hmm. so I've created we a will chart. give it to them. Yeah, it's so a when you mention your date, it shows you whether masculine and feminine energy is controlled. And when, after creating a chart, you realize that every month is divided into it, half of it is masculine and half of it is feminine. Depends on where you fall. Yes, it depends on where you fall. So January, those who born in January, half of them have the feminine influence and half the latter part has the masculine influence. And so it can be because it deals with the elements. You know, human beings are four elements, actually five, the eta, which is the gross, from the gross material body. The fire, water, air, and earth element, and then the ether that comes in to form the gross material body. Now, taking out the ether, because the ether is the aspect of you that makes you have ex mystical experiences. That is other dream state or whatever, elusive dream or whatever it is. So the, the, the gross material body itself can be limited to the four elements, which is fire, water, air, and earth. This is divided into two. Half of it is masculine and half of it is feminine. And it reflects in the time and the date you were born, the, the day and the date you were born. So depending on the date and the date you were born, I, you, you were either controlled by the masculine energy or the feminine energy. Uh, the first time I had a program at Radio Central about life, and then the, after finishing the guy said we should go to his house. The host said this, he said we should go to his house. When I got to his house, after everything, I, we, we, then I, I came back home. So he called me, we were covering. I said, oh, your son, the second born, is masculine, uh, feminine influenced. I said, how do I know? I said, when I saw him, when I saw the way he was behaving, and he also behaved to so sort of bow, but mm -hmm. her vib his vibration. You would see it yes, totally, completely. His vibration, you know, so, no, this is, and, and through the conversation, he, he mentioned his date of birth. I said, oh, Tyros, it's feminine, because it's an earth element. You, you understand? Because that is how they would, this is natural. Because his, his demeanor and his approach towards it is more collaborative than competitive. Hmm. What you say? It's, it's more recessive and pa uh, uh, passive than active. So this attribute tells you who you are, either feminine or masculine. Once you're able to identify, oh, I'm being controlled by the feminine energy, or I'm being controlled by the masculine energy, depending on the percentage of the energy operating within you shows how intensity the exhibition will be like. In to be what are, it's been controlled by the feminine, uh, masculine energy, but it's about, let's say, 60% or 55%. So, and it keeps... Balancing it, yeah, too. It's about 90%. Who knows what to do? Or who knows what to do? It's big, 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 football. Or big, 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 masculine influence or feminine influence, then you have to be of the opposite balance. In the say, and say, okay, me, I'm masculine influence. For instance, I know my attributes are naturally competitive. I like competition because that's masculine this thing. I like logical reasoning. I'm not, I'm, I like analytical thinking. But the feminine is passive. You understand? It is more intuitive. It is more loving and kind. It's more compassionate. You see, it, it, it has ability to let go. Even when it, She's been hurt, she's quiet, like the way we are doing to Mother Nature. And she'll still give her love when the need arises. So when I know that, what I do is that, for the masculine is already dominant, it's, it's working in me already. So now I begin to deliberately cultivate the attitude of the feminine. You work on that one. Yes. Because so you then, know you have here, you are left yes. with here. So now, instead of maybe in the house, instead of me dictating, hey, go do this, go do this, go do this, I say, no, mm, brah, 
how do you think we should do this thing? Then I'm building the attitude of collaboration, which is my feminine nature. Gradually, when I become a, a used to that, with, then I get my balance. Then you get your balance. You are watching revelations in the chat. No, before you be with your conversation, you be making sure say you dey be man. No, be a enuwea or what? Na oka counseling sessions and so so. And ka dey we and ka ye school secondary school say be waho. Men can't tell me say be waho. Aye active and aye near juma even private schools. Kwa amu di huge huge school fees. Kwa sa system no aye near juma waho. Ekromo ha obi wua ye mfani nko. Counseling session be a mu na wa ye we inti sebe ye mu be bre ya dreno e huwa toche ma e kwa imbe bre so because we've been left na ye nya ye redeeming ye huwa or whatever o bi ye nya help adi ya ye ye ni na ane se ye condemn ye judge ye condemn ye judge ye hifa eni ye beko se ye juma we inti na platform we e wa ha inti we develop some chat a ye de be mao na what you me go through no we who who ni behave yes be no what you say then you know baby i say we work on yourself so what you say obin so kan wasem a we who said ya obeye no we are the biggest spiritual platform and we want you to gain your consciousness we are taking you through the um, awakening uh, process so that you can liberate yourself edinya me just wa e de mami grace and me ni yan ya brother fb mensa and e waha inti as i said no ye gusu aye kasa ko ye no ye de chat no so e be ma na wo timi e de edi wo hu ejuma enti niama e se wo hu se de o kan e ne se wo ye nipa no e ye wo spiritual side e ne wo human form ana se wo betumi aka se eh wo humanity e ne wo divinity a wo de abom e no ho asem e ne ye kan enti mr mensa se nipa no e hu ne awu kan nyina e wi a wo tumi separate yeah, it's a physical aspect, you know, and yeah, you know. uh -huh. no, 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 physical yeah. aspect, you know. It is spiritual aspect, you know. How does the person know say oh, no, so me physical aspect you know, you're connected? Yeah. Okay. To con I'll come to that, but to conclude as uh, aspect, mm -hmm. uh, somebody asked me the question. Inti as okay, how does it benefit me mm -hmm. if I should be able to balance the two? Mm -hmm. so I tell the person, yes, this is how it we're gonna work. In your daily errands, you are faced with masculine situation and feminine situations. And in your perfect balance, you know when to apply the masculine and know when to apply the feminine. And that makes you live life. Then the immediately say, ah, ah, I feel I'm too I didn't know to me accommodate all situations. This is somebody who is very mm -hmm. close to me. I, I, we, we go out together, mm -hmm. we do everything together. We have a few minutes to go okay. and continue and come on. You're okay. you know. The chat, and I want you to give like two out. But okay. be a two day to be okay. Okay, so yeah, can't oh, honam any am I said, yeah, we'll be who, yeah, honam any. In the young family say, day to way, day to way, who say, what you say, what you say, what you say, not fair, you're better, so not fair, you're the acosha, a so divinity, so so so. Okay, uh, for instance, if you were between first to twenty twentieth of January, you are an earth element, which is that means the feminine energy in air control. When the feminine is near control, normally you are a very passive person. We are collaborative. Open say we didn't go for a boom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are competitive. What you say? You you act based on your emotions rather than your 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 your. So we your bow, we your bema. Yeah, we your bema. Yeah. And now yeah, we your bow, we your bema. Say month now we must have energy near control. I don't just say we could do this. I know, but I know that actually we su. Oh, and to be be almost say. Be busy, or be giddy giddy, or be aggressive. No, oh, the natural, no, be calm. Say, I didn't say, oh, so you ain't in, ain't in, ain't in, also when you're putting a ain't in. But your bema, I say, it's something like I say, oh, guy with Oriana, that is a oba. Mm hmm. Date, no, but date, in you. That's between 1st to 20th January. Okay. That's the feminine. Now, when you come 21st to 31st January, no, a masculine. Okay. Now, the masculine aspect of that, Sandy Pacono, or willpower. So, see, we in front of our no order. Suggestion. So your bow or bema. Oh, your bema, and you are you are your ma sir. Your ma or what? Okay, if you are when you say you 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 come on or no no your bema. I know dictate everything because they 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 are more logical. They look at things from a more objective point of view. And I say, oh, to me set boundaries. Say no, we we shouldn't go beyond this. Oh, to me set tax and on 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 and all those that things. That is how she was made. She was made, and it's not her fault. So such a person needs to such a bar. It's, there's a tendency to acquire our engine, so I'm going to be a man. Because of the authority. Yes. Inti, 
say, and understand when such people come for counseling now, uh, these are things even counselors should know. And it will be the marital problem, my bro. Bisa no question. Bisa what? Then you get immediately you can identify. No, we masculine, no, no wife, no, no, no feminine. And I say overriding, oh, that is why the confusion. So immediately you can. So if we them. should have counseling session for this, it wouldn't be a problem. So you, if you understand this. Oh yes, I was telling, I was telling my oh. wife that. Obi wo hwa say o ma the wife na play mama role no 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 play mama role no it is safer yes because because o mi wa mi wadam fo bi o pa de noa o pen kwa la hwe so man for thursday na yeah ba hasin my wife had to go to the office because they have a board meeting and there was nobody at home my my my, my niece also has to go to school for writers and mission i called him to come and take care of my kid and he is a very good friend of mine same as a spiritual practitioner he has, been, he, he has been taking care of my kids in our scarcity when my kids were four, five months old. We moved their diapers, clean them, wash them. And so when you get to my house, and it's, it's, my son wants to do something, so I won't do it, I'll call Bro Bro, he'll do it right now. Because they've known him, and that is his attribute. He, he has that. Anytime you want to talk of business, oh, bro, if you can set up a cookery business, everything is related to the feminine. When you cast, when you. See the date of his birth. It's been controlled by the feminine energy. So two dates, no, no, or the man, na yet. That is for, that's for January. January from first to twentieth. That is controlled by the feminine energy. And twenty-first to thirty-first is controlled by the masculine. And then you say, who can Eh, ye ne hu ana wo yiri ye bibia we ye counseling anka sorry ho no ana places na ye ye marriage no we wo ho na we educating crofo no. Me pese wo advise ye time na ye do we will continue the same in come way but me pese wo two and crofo for in two minutes about sad behaviors we just one month pe date ne ye dey am eh. Enti no say wo ne wo yiri wo ho na na no cho 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 no o ye say o ye say nya we have to know all these things to take our balance. Yes. T two minutes, no matter how do I say? The American is a American win on the perspective of marriage, but actually, the, before they worry, they can say, "One can say to me balance on, on balance on, and no matter what to marry." Mothers have a, a role to play. Yes, fathers have a role uh -huh. to play, and, and that two comes together for a balance because Nyanko Pombo even no, yes, all the name Adam to restore the balance. Otherwise, Adam will feel superior. Where should you yes, say? Yes, yes. You won't say. Ode o yiri tifiye, ode o bati fiye, ode unia tifiye. The only way you can have a peaceful family and a peaceful home is to understand the the energy which is controlling them. So mm. oti energy ni asia, you know how to relate. Me, I relate to. I don't have enemy. When I see you, I know who you are and I know how to deal with you. So baby, I make kubi ano. You are okay. Yes. It's more comfortable. That's the whole thing. That's the whole thing. So you person you fear na worry and na you bush your same ye. Correct, uh, we must understand this principle. And, take and our our marriage counselors you know, so must come and study this thing. It's very simple. Okay. Marriage counselors you know, so, so must come and study this thing. And uh, me chat with you, me queen, I'm the way so, man, me, man. And me, man, you know, I'm going to say, 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 I'm now I could now say Bible say more ba and kanya mia se and ye is you hmm O body and kasa um boy in na steady each and every one get spiritual so you know who you are living with because it's better to know somebody spiritually than to know the person physically. E dia me just wa e the mammy grace ye bet one come away so etina senya me e the yen kwa eche ye ya makrao.